Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Recently, I've done a video teaching you how to apply a tattoo using Photoshop. And also, I've been doing an on-again, off-again video series demonstrating how to remove things using Photoshop. Well, I'm going to combine those two ideas in this video, and we're going to remove a tattoo. In the description below this video, I have a link to that video where I teach how to apply a tattoo in Photoshop, and I also have a link to a playlist that includes all the videos in the How to Remove Stuff Using Photoshop video series. Now, to remove this tattoo, in prep for this video, I tried various ways. And in my head, I thought the best way would be to select all the ink part and then use Content Aware Fill and get rid of it. Well, I found that that wasn't the best way, that basically it faded the ink more often and it really didn't get rid of it. So the best way I found is to select the area all around the tattoo and then use Content Aware Fill. So to do that, we're going to get the lasso tool. It's uh, right here in the tool well and the keyboard shortcut is L. And all I'm going to do is draw with the lasso tool around the tattoo as closely as possible freehand with my mouse. I'm not using my Wacom uh, tablet, even though it's right off to my right hand side. I'm doing it with the mouse just because I know most of you don't have a Wacom tablet and you'll probably be doing it this way. So I'm just going to quickly go as fast as I can and get this kind of crappy little drawing. I gotta be careful in here. This is the tight part. Right around like that. And so we have our selection of the tattoo. Now I mentioned we're going to use Content Aware Fill. So we're going to go up to Edit and down to Content Aware Fill. Now, if you use Auto, let's try Auto and see what it comes up with. And you could see over here, it did a great job. It removed the tattoo. And I think we'll just run with that. Now, if that doesn't give you good results, you'll want to use Custom. And then in Custom, you'll use the brush to paint in with the plus brush the areas you want it to reference to replace the pixels where the tattoo is. And if you need to, use the minus brush to tell it where not to paint. But most often, you just have to use the plus brush and tell it where to paint. So I'll go for this instance, go back to Auto, and you can see it completely removed the tattoo. And I'm going to output it to a duplicate layer. So I'm going to click OK. And there it is. I'm going to hit Command D on my Mac to deselect. It's Control D on a PC. Now, when I first did this and I looked at it, and I thought, well, the hair is kind of messed up on his arm. Well, I don't think I've been very observant because um, if I look at my own arm, I see, at least for my arm, which is different than his arm, I got a lot of hair right in here, then I don't have as much hair in here, and then I have more hair down here, and it's kind of patchy in a little bit on both arms. So everyone is different, and I think because we just replaced the tattoo in this image, we might be a little more critical than we need to be. I don't think anyone is going to look at this and think it was photoshopped. They're just going to think that the guy just has arm hair that's a little bit sparse in some areas and a little thicker in other areas. Maybe he has a little dry skin in there, but really no big deal. But you could see how in this instance, uh, Content Aware Fill was just the way to go. It was a lot easier to get rid of a tattoo in Photoshop than it was to apply a tattoo in Photoshop like we did in that other video. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>